In this video, we're going to learn how to connect AdsBridge to Landerbolt so that we can publish our landing pages quickly to our AdsBridge tracker. So first, we're going to go to the Integrations button on the left side of Landerbolt. Then click on Connect Tracker and select AdsBridge. This gives us three fields that we have to type in. The first one is for us, uh, it's simply to remind us which AdsBridge account this is. In case I have multiple AdsBridge accounts, I don't. So I'm just going to type in AdsBridge here. Then I need an API key and a client ID. We have to obtain those from AdsBridge. So I'm going to go to my AdsBridge account where I'm currently on the dashboard inside. To get those two pieces of information, we simply click on Landerbolt on the top right, which uh, is our username for AdsBridge, so whatever your username is here. And then we go down to My Account. This gives us all the information about your account. Uh, and the first thing we need is this API key. It's blocked out right here, so we have to click on Show API Key and then enter our AdsBridge password. Once I've done that, the API key becomes visible. We can select the entire thing. And you want to make sure you get the whole thing because it is longer than the box allows. So you notice it's scrolled there. But you want to select the entire thing and then copy it to your clipboard on your computer. Then back inside of Landerbolt, we'll paste it. And now we need the client ID. This one isn't immediately obvious, but it's also not difficult. If we go back over to AdsBridge, we have our client ID is at the very top. It's just called ID and it says 66017 in my case. This will be different for you. Back in Landerbolt, I simply paste that. Then I hit connect tracker. This will add AdsBridge as a tracker to Landerbolt. And now this allows us to publish any Landerbolt landing page very quickly to AdsBridge without having to do any kind of manual entry in AdsBridge. So let me show you that. If I go to my dashboard, I have four landing pages right now. And if I want to publish one of these landing pages to my tracker, AdsBridge in this case, then I simply click on the settings button on the right side for that page. So I'll do it for e-commerce socks 02. Click on settings on the right. And then I have this button on the lower left that says publish to tracker. If it's grayed out for you, if you don't have that option, it probably means you don't have a domain set up for your page. You must do that first. So simply click on domain, choose one of your domains, make a folder if you want to, and save your page. And then the publish to tracker button should be visible. Once you have that option done, you click on that button and I can select the tracker I have configured, in this case, AsBridge. This will load for just a moment, and this is publishing it to your tracker. So it says pages are published, and now inside of our tracker, we can look for e-commerce socks 02. So if I go to my tracker again, ads bridge, and I click on landing pages on the left, it's going to load a list of my landing pages. In this account, we have quite a few from all the testing we've been doing. But if I scroll all the way down, I should be able to find one that says e-commerce socks 02. And I'm not sure. I have a lot of pages in here. There it is. <laughs> Sorry, it's at the very bottom and I uh, it created a group. So if I click at the very bottom, it's at the very bottom and we have e-commerce socks 02. So it just took a moment for me to go down my list. Hopefully in your AdsBridge account, you don't have so many pages unorganized like I do, but at the very bottom, we have it e-commerce socks 02. And if I click on that, you'll see it's put the URL in there from the page and configured it inside of AdsBridge without us having to really do any work uh, to get that in there. So that is how you connect Landerbolt to AdsBridge. 
And one more thing that's worth noting, back on our Linderbolt, if you are using multivariate split testing inside of Linderbolt, which we covered in a separate video, if you haven't seen that video and you need help with the multivariate testing settings, uh, click on our help button on the top right to visit our support portal. Uh, there's a video on it. Uh, but basically, if you are using the multivariate settings, that means that this landing page could have multiple URLs. Uh, you may have 20, 30, or more URLs that all go to this landing page, uh, which represent all the different combinations from your multivariate split test. Rest assured that the integration with Ad, uh, AdsBridge is compatible with multivariate split testing, and it requires no extra steps from you. So if you click on Publish to Tracker and choose AdsBridge, and your page has multiple different URLs and multiple different variations, it's going to automatically publish all of those at the same time to your tracker. So instead of seeing just one entry here, you would see all 20, 30, or however many variations you have. So that is how to set up AdsBridge with Linderbolt, and we hope that was helpful.